Here on this Tobacco University video, I'm going to provide you with some insight into selecting a soil test lab. So if you're looking to get your soil tested, that's a good thing. If you're looking at different soil labs, here I'm going to provide you with some information about some of the options available to you. So first off, when we're talking about soil testing labs in general, uh, one of, there's two common extraction solutions that are used, and this is something you should find out uh, what the lab is utilizing. One is a modified Morgan extract, and that's a weak acid. Another one's called the Malik 3 extract, and that's a strong acid. So if you're comparing labs and they're using different extraction fluids, you may be getting slightly different results, just as a word of caution. Uh, these are both universal extraction procedures, meaning they're used to determine all major nutrients and any of the micronutrients simultaneously. Here we can see the Malik 3 um, phosphorus in parts per million versus the Morgan P in parts per million. Again, we see a little correlation there uh, comparing those two. A lot of times with phosphorus, the lab will state which extraction fluid it's using. Now, what are some options? Well, there's university labs, and state universities provide a reliable soil testing service through their cooperative extension service. Often both soil testing and fertilizer and amendment recommendations for the intended crop are provided with university labs. And these can be subject to funding cuts or labor shortages, which can result in longer durations to get the results back to you. So just a word of caution there. I might want to check with the lab ahead of time to see what their anticipated time of, upon receiving the soil is to the time they're generating the report. Then there's also commercial labs as comparison. These tend to favor large-scale growers and are a volume-driven business. Compared to university-based labs, the cost per sample is often greater, but this doesn't mean the results are necessarily quote-unquote better. However, the results are often in the grower's hands quicker, so when time is money, commercial labs can be the preferred option. Now, when we're deciding as far as what lab to utilize, well, growers would typically utilize the same lab for many years. It is a good, this is good practice as this is a way growers can become familiar with the units and will have the same extraction procedure performed to help allow for easy comparisons between fields and also year to year of the same field. Because you should be taking soil reports or soil tests over multiple years. Using the same lab will allow an even comparison. Now, no matter what lab that you choose, uh, realize that springtime is typically the busiest season. Uh, so it, this is when you are most likely to have results uh, delays. It's meaning when you send your results in, don't expect them back next week. Also, the lab is only as good as the sample you send them. So it doesn't matter necessarily what lab you choose. If you are not well versed in sending a proper field representative soil sample to the lab, the results they give you can only be as good as the sample you send them. So keep in mind and make sure you're taking the proper procedures to send whatever lab you choose a quality result so you will get quality results in return.